I know it. I think I can get across here through the air. Just call me a flying fish. Ah. Collect all sticky notes. Huh, when did I write this? If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, crabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. So hungry, need food and attention. You like playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. SpongeBob, me boy, I know you had your hands full already, but I got a little favor to ask you. Okay, Mr. Krabs, what do you need? I was wondering why me pockets felt so light, so I checked and discovered that me lucky penny collection's gone missing. You carry your penny collection with you? Of course, lad, and they were here before we got back from this other world. SpongeBob, those pennies are worth more than your life. Please, bring them back home, boyo. Yes, sir, Mr. Crab, sir. Thank you, lad. You're the best employee a crab could wish for. Tell Squidward to take notes. <laughs> I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Ooh, a pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Don't get up, Gare Bear! I'm coming for you!
creatures, Patrick. They're... they're... Funny? No, scary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was going to be my second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Yeah. It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary. SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea. And we'll win because they're not even seeking. A little dabble, do ya? Hmm. I wonder if I'll we'll spot any spot. this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a t wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very f- 
Mmm, mmm, calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him. All we have to do is follow the slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying city. <laughs> I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, uh, that works too, I guess. That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. <gasps> wow, vintage! Thanks! Yeah, no, yeah, me, me fool. Shiny. This house is cake size candy. I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you.
Chocolate! Chocolate! Finally, chocolate! If it weren't for Gary, I could go home and watch Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy reruns. You better have a good reason for being in trouble. Um, because we played with magic bubbles and tore into the fabric of reality, creating cosmic chaos that puts all of Bikini Bottom in danger? You said a good reason. <laughs> R.I.P. Johnny. Last words. Watch this. Howie! I've never seen a fish like this. Can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. And nice costume, by the way. Thank you. thing about a monster, it's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Any chance you know where I could find? There is a the pet. Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? A little dabble, do ya?
see my snail? Tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. Do we do we I got a rock. Do we have to? You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! Meow, <laughs> <laughs> meow, 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 meow! Mush, fun snail, mush! Patrick? I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Oh. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure.
SpongeBob is too dark here! Do something! These tables are glowing! Maybe they feel pretty. <laughs> I can't tell if my eyes are closed or if it's just dark. Not just dark, Patrick. This is advanced darkness. <laughs> Candy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Uh, have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh. 
Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. Drivers ever got their learner's permits? Maybe he just 
just needs the light to read. Those snails the monster kidnapped! Look, it's scary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy! before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. For once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, need you to get new ones. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, SpongeBob. to cover my buns. Great! Now my whole rock 
is covered in snail slime. I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. Huh? I know it's a very challenging situation. But could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate! Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. <laughs> Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. But Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Ah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. 